Okay, hello everyone. Um, today I'm gonna start creating my uh, uh, Gatsby theme Instagram, as you can see here. Um, uh, theme. So this is just um, uh, this is to actually um, uh, submit this to uh, the theme jam that uh, Gatsby is organizing. So theme jam. .gatsby.js as you can see here they're creating this uh, contest to create your Gatsby theme and then if you follow the rules you can um, you can win uh, prizes you can win a prize so uh, this is something that I actually need for a client uh, let me just uh, run yarn uh, workspace demo develop I'm gonna walk you through the code but uh, I'm just going to show you that I have a plain uh, Gatsby theme setup running here. This is the actual theme example, theme jam example that uh, the team uh, 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 that the team they put in in the website. Uh, let me check where is the example submission repo. So if you can come here and you follow the amazing instructions that are here, are pretty straightforward. And as you can see, I can show you the code here. I just have all these changes. Uh, there are not much. You see here that I have a theme and a demo folder. This is all in this workspaces uh, uh, key here. So I can use them appropriately. And uh, here I, I haven't changed anything but whatever in the readme says you see that i just changed let me just go to the changes and you can see it uh, i changed the name i changed also um you see in the package json i changed the name of the package let me just close this the name of the package the url the version i i try i tend to start developing packages with this version i don't know why I just feel it's right, so I'm I'm doing it that way, and uh, and what else? And that's it. So the actual let me just explain a little bit what's happening here. I'm I'm running the actual demo project. The demo project uh, that you see here is a Gatsby site that you see here. You have a config, Gatsby config. You and you don't have any pages here, so there's no <coughs> source pages directory anything like that. Uh, but we still we are seeing a page here so where does this page is coming from so this is what thing that I wanted to show you in the theme uh, you have this uh, source components and also there's this uh, theme uh, index.js theme that we are overriding uh, you can use the same one I think I'm gonna use the same one maybe I'm gonna change some things uh but uh but yeah uh, it's pretty straightforward how they are doing component shadowing here from this plugin theme ui that is also another theme and uh, here in the config you see that they're using the gatsby theme ui i'm changing the name here for the title of the site metadata but then the page is here so you see that they are used in the layout from components layout and they're just rendering here some content from page context board but what where does did this page context come from so if you go to the gatsby node um, here you see that they're using the gatsby hook to create page uh, the gatsby hook create pages and inside there they're creating one page in the root and this page is using the page template that is here source page template that is this one and the content is right here they're adding the content to the, to the context so everything that you add here in the context is going to be available in the page so that's why you can access that via props <coughs> and this is super cool you see the heading they're using heading and content amazing but for my uh, theme I am actually not gonna create any page because I think I'm just gonna create some components 
Uh, let me just close this. Uh, so I'm gonna uh, I'm I'm using another window, so that's why I closed something that you didn't see, but that's fine. Um, I'm I'm gonna create just components, different components to um, to render um, some Instagram posts. So because as you saw here in the package JSON, I'm creating a Gatsby theme Instagram. So this will help users to render a bunch of like Instagram posts or maybe a single Instagram post. I don't know what what they what you can do with it. In the use case that I'm gonna use this, that I'm gonna I'll, I'll actually use this in a client with a client, is that we're gonna render a list of component a list of uh, posts. And also we're gonna have a link to go to that specific post. But for now uh, th that's it. Uh, I'm, I might ask for more use cases to add uh, to this theme, but for now is that. So I'm gonna, I'm just gonna, for today, I'm gonna just set up the source Instagram plugin inside my theme and use that in the, in my, uh, in my demo website. Okay, so let me just go to that. I can just come, no, not here, not here. I'm going to Gatsby source uh, Instagram. So if you go here, the first one is the Gatsby J, the GatsbyJS.org website, and here we have all the information needed to um, to set up this plugin. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, stop the server and install this uh, plugin into my theme. So I'm gonna do because I'm using Gatsby. Gatsby, uh, sorry, Yarn Workspaces. I'm gonna do Yarn Workspace. Uh, the name of the workspace that in this case is Gatsby Theme Instagram. And then here I'm gonna do Add and the Source Plugin. So this will install the Source Instagram in my uh, in my theme. And from there, I can set up this into my theme. So there you go, it's finished. So I can go to the code. And in the theme, where, where am I? Okay, here. In the theme config, apart from the theme UI, I'm just gonna do uh, that. I'm gonna create another one and do resolve. And Gatsby, theme, no, sorry. Gatsby source Instagram. And this source, in this uh, plugin accepts options. And in this options, I'm just gonna add my username. That is, um, I'm gonna use my one other like account that I have. This is like a public account that, that I use uh, to share socks, some socks that I have. I love socks. So actually, let me just go to the website so you can see it. Um, here, Instagram. I think it's, that's it. Uh, there you go. So here, this is one my actual Instagram. You can see all the socks that I have. There are a few. Yeah, I know. I'm a little psycho about socks, but um, this is we're not here to talk about my socks. We're here to talk about Gatsby. So uh, let's do it. Do, 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 do. Let me just go to the code. I create this. So if I start, this is set up in my Gatsby theme. So if you see also I, what I need to make sure is that in my demo, I have my, in the Gatsby config demo, I have my theme installed. And you see that I have not Instagram. So yeah, now it's installed. So if I run the yarn workspace um, demo develop, what should happen is that uh, the source Instagram should trigger and also add all the Instagram uh, fi uh, fields into my um, into my GraphQL layer, so I can. Uh, so I can do some 
queries to the GraphQL layer. So I, if I want to do that, let me just go here. So here, just to make sure it's running, but if I do GraphQL, it's loading. You see that I have here all Insta nodes, yay! So I can just go to maybe caption, I don't know. And here you have all the captions of my um, my socks posts, Instagram posts. So yeah, that's it. Uh, I don't know how much time was this, but uh, I think I'm gonna stop this here. And for the next uh, video, I'm gonna create the first <coughs> component. That's gonna be a great component. Okay, so uh, please make sure you uh, check out the next one. Um, see you.